we've talked about this. Okay, okay, I'm calling Rachel. Password. Bollocks. Get in. Welcome. I'm so sorry we're a little late. Oh, you wouldn't imagine how many people can't find this place. Well, you are a little tucked away. Well, with our particular practice, we have to be discreet. Off the grid. Please, have a seat. Hello. Are you here for the procedure? Well, I guess we all are, uh, except for maybe you. <laughs> I'm Jacqueline. This is Steven. I'm Dr. Danbury. Oh, doctor. I'm a little surprised to see you here. Oh, don't be. I'm a doctor of astronomy. <laughs> oh, my stars. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Kettles, follow me. Danbury Balfour. Astronomer. That's me. <clears throat> Take off your pants and panties and get on the table. Steven! Did you bring the doctor's feet? Back in the day, this could have been run through insurance, but... Sorry, cash only basis. I've just been reviewing the aftercare with your wife, Mr. Kettles. You're going to need to take it easy for a few days. No rough housing. You don't want to pop a stitch or bleed out. <laughs> Things to be on the lookout for are sepsis, a fistula, bloody stools. Sometimes when the doctor pokes around, Bring me some pliers in the slop bucket! Because we're not a, well, licensed healthcare provider, Dr. Burnside cannot prescribe anything for pain, but you can take two Advil every four hours and use an ice pack for puppiness. And what if I don't want the procedure? I thought he understood. He does. He's not happy about it, but he understands that it's not his choice. Well, not anymore. I don't want this. Maybe you would be more comfortable with our patient advocate. Ashley! So. <laughs> Mr. Kettles is uncertain about the procedure. He knows it ain't his choice, right? It ain't your choice. That is bullshit! What did you just say? That, that's bullshit. Listen, I ain't Judge Judy, pal. I don't make the laws. Maybe if you didn't get someone pregnant, this wouldn't be happening right now. Honey! He screwed our babysitter. Her mother is my best friend, Rachel, and she doesn't know because Madison was able to get a safe and legal abortion. Oh, God! Oh, God! You can't do this to me! Tammy! We're gonna need a Band-Aid! No! Better bring the whole box! Come on! Oh, you want to speak to the complaint department? This big baby has a complaint. Spit it out. I don't want the procedure. Then why the fuck did you come? <laughs> he already came. That's why we're here. I can understand a vasectomy, but do I really have to be neutered? <laughs> Should this be my choice? 
Look, pal, men can't decide what's best for their bodies. Life starts in your baby makers. It doesn't start at conception. All right, remove the balls, remove the problem. You got guys out here having babies they don't even want to take care of. And then they end up on welfare, and we end up paying for your mistake. No balls, no mistake, Kettles. Ain't our fault they outlawed vasectomies. My body, my choice! I told you, Stephen. Fuck around, find out. Dr. Burnside! Mr. Kettles, I'm ready to see you now. Is this going to take? 